Okay, I'm going to show you a few more features of TeamShake. First thing I'm going to do is obviously open the app up with the icon. And here I have my demo Disney team I set up in the previous video. You can see here that I have some notations on the left side here. These are the strengths or weaknesses that I put in on each player. I also have the opposed teams here, the, the sub teams here, the ones I want to be on the same team. And in red, I have the opposed team. Now, other features that you can choose over down here on the left hand side, if I tap this button, I can choose to have a certain number of people on a team. Or if I tap it again, I can choose to have a certain number of teams. Down here towards the right, there is a random player button there. So I can select a random player, select a different one as many times as I want to tap it. That could be for questioning purposes or to help out with equipment. It shows me how many people I have present out of my group. So right now I have all 14 people present. If I decide that Daisy and Pluto are away today, you will see that number changes there. Now I have 12 out of the 14 people who are in this group. Down on the right, bottom right corner here, I have my configuration options. So I'm going to open this up right now. Because here's where you're going to make most of your major changes to how you want this displayed according to your needs. One of the first ones is the initial shake and follow-up shake. You can actually shake your iPad to choose teams, or you can press the button on the, the iPad to shake the teams. However, if you don't have the follow-up shake switched off, you might find that an accidental knock of your iPad completely redoes your teams, which can be not what you desire. You can choose team selection options. Under your team colors, you can sort by different teams. You can change your team names. You can see here I changed Team 1's name to Superstars. I'm going to change it back just to Superstar. And Team 2, I can change the color there as well. If I scroll back up a little bit here, I can choose to uh, sort by male, female. Um, I can choose to sort by last name. I can show or hide the gender color. If I toggle that one across, you'll see how that changes in a moment. The player strength. I don't want that one to be seen because I don't want anyone to think they're stronger or weaker than anybody else. So I can slide that one off there. And you can also decide how you want to have the teams balanced as well. So do you want a balance of strength? Do you want a larger group first? Do you want a balance of males and females? Where do you want the sub teams to go and so on? So when you're done with all your options, click on done. And now we can see with the list, I no longer have the icons to show which students were stronger, but I can now see you know, who's male, who's female within this class. And again, my two students who are absent today continue to be um, grayed out. So if I choose two teams and I press shake them up, there I have my two teams. And as I put, I wanted Mickey and Minnie on the same team, and uh, there they are. And I wanted Elsa and Anna on the same team, and there they are. And Shrek and Donkey, I said I wanted on different teams. And they are indeed on Superstar versus the Superhero team. If I decide I don't quite like this team, so I'm just going to click put on the reshake button at the bottom here, and it will give me a new set of different teams. And I can do this as many times as I want when I'm done. So I'm done. If I want to change, if I want to change these uh, set, make sure I save these settings under Manage Lists. I can go to Save List Changes right at the bottom here. If I don't and I want to switch between lists, it will give me a prompt to say that I have got changes I haven't saved yet and I can choose whether or not I want to. I'm saying I'm not going to save that and then I can just choose to load another team that I have or another class that I have entered in here. I hope that gives you a little bit more insight into the many ways that you can use TeamShake.